Welcome to Graph Tutorials, I'm Shiva and in this video we're going to take a quick look at the scissors, knife and eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator. So I have three words here on my artboard. I have scissors, knife and eraser. Now first thing, if we're going to take the scissors tool, which you can also get to by pressing C, and I'm going to zoom in a bit, you try to scissor, then it says, please use a scissors tool on a segment or an anchor point, but not on an end point of a path. Okay, say okay. Now you might think, I will select it with the, the, I will select it with the direct selection tool, but as you can see, it still doesn't give you the anchor points or the paths. So to fix this, we're going to right click our words and say create outlines. Now when you have outlines created, you select your word, you take your scissors tool and then you see the anchor points and the paths. Now you can only use it on an anchor point or a path, as you saw in the error message before. If you click an anchor point, it will cut that anchor point um, I'm going to select my group selection tool. It will cut that anchor point. And as you can see, we have now cut the path free from our tool. I'm going to switch to outlines, then it will be easier to follow. And if you use your scissors tool to click on a path, it will create an extra anchor point for you. So you can just click on paths, um, anchor points. If there isn't an anchor point, it will create one for you. And it will then create several paths according to where you scissored your word. So scissor to first make outlines from your word and then use the scissor tool on the anchor points or the paths. For the knife tool, uh, knife tool doesn't have a shortcut key. Again, the same. You can use a knife tool on your word, but it won't work. First, you have to select your word and again, choose create outlines. When you've created outlines and you take your knife tool, you can then really randomly make shapes. And as you can see here, you, you see the line where I made my shape because the knife tool it sort of splits the pieces in the path you create. Let's make it stroke so it's easier to see. So, yeah, you, you draw a shape and Illustrator's knife tool will follow your shape and make all sorts of separate shapes for you. As you can see, you can... You can separate them because they're now all separate shapes. And then you can, according, depending on why you used your knife tool, you can give all those things different colors, different fills, strokes. You can play around with that. And then for the eraser tool, uh, we'll take our eraser. And you can see if I now do this, you see something is happening, but Illustrator just ignores what's happening. And even if we select it and we take the tool, you see that there is a stop sign because it doesn't work. Same thing again, select your word, right click and choose create outlines. And then with the word selected, you can use your eraser tool. And the eraser tool it redraws your parts. It doesn't erase pixels like in Photoshop. It just redraws, redraws your parts, as you can see if I select this one. The direct selection tool. Now you see that it has made a different part for me. And you can, if you go in the middle of a letter, you can see it now makes all separate parts for you. So yeah, that's... Uh, Quick look at the scissors, knife and eraser tool. Keep in mind that you always have to create outlines first. And if 
after you've created the outlines, you can use these tools. Quick tutorial on how to use the scissors, knife and eraser tools in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the video. Be sure to also press the like button if you did. Press the subscribe button and the little bell icon if you want to see my future videos. But for now, stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.